Hey y'all, it's Shimdi. So I hope you're having as awesome a weekend as I'm having, but I'm gonna assume you're not because I bet yours didn't include seeing Ryan Coogler, director of Black Panther, like four feet away from you because that's what my weekend included. That's what my weekend included. Okay, so this weekend I was at the Congressional Black Caucus CBC Foundation's annual convention, Still I Rise was the theme. And this was a thing that I got to go through, go to because of work. And I was like, oh, this will just be, you know, some great panels. I'll get to hear some black folks talk, network, be surrounded by melanin, all that good stuff. Like, I wasn't expecting anything extra, just like, you know, a cool convention. Not only in general did I underestimate how great the convention was gonna be, like it met my wildest dreams, which was that I got to see this panel with Ryan Coogler and other folks from Marvel, um, where they debuted like sneak preview, exclusive, unseen footage from Black Panther, and I got to see that. Like, I got to see that. If you know me, like you know that I am like Black Panther is one of the most important things in my life right now. Like, all I want to do is just make it to February sixteenth so I can see this movie in theaters multiple times. Like that's the start and end of my hopes and dreams. So the fact that I even got to like breathe the same air <laughs> as the man who directed Fruitvale Station and Creed and now Black Panther and is gonna just make all my dreams come true. Like it was remarkable y'all, it was remarkable. So just thank you CBC Foundation. Thank you job. <laughs> thank you workplace for putting me in the same room as this man and these amazing people. Okay, so that's that. All right, so let's talk about this footage. So I'm not gonna go into like shot by shot, scene by scene. One, cause I don't have a memory like that. And also cause I'm not the kind of person who likes to see sneak previews. I know it sounds weird cause I'm super excited about it, but like I'm the kind of person that might watch the trailer one time and then never again. Cause I just don't want to be spoiled or like going to the movie being like, oh, when are they gonna show this shot or that shot, whatever. But I do, I feel like if you clicked on this video, you probably wanna hear about what that sneak preview involved. So I will talk a little bit about it. So the way that the person on the panel described the, the movie in general is it's gonna be like this thriller essentially, which I'm like, ooh, a Marvel thriller. Um, only starring black folks, of course. We talked a bit and we saw a bit about like the way tribes are gonna be represented um, in the movie. So they actually did the research and went to Africa and explored a bunch of different tribes and used that as a way to um, build and explore and expand what the tribes in the movie would be like, the fictional tribes. What I loved about the movie and about what Ryan Coogler said on the panel is that he said like, he always has to have a certain question that stays with him sort of throughout the production of the movie because it just takes like years and years to produce a movie. So you need to have that fire burning within you. And he said the question for this movie was about like, what would it look like if a country with the rare element, a rare metal, um, not unlike coltane that's like you can find in the Congo, but it's super rare, super precious, but it's super important, it's in every smartphone. What if it was something like that, right? Um, only the country that had it, this African country that had it, was never colonized. So you never got, you never lost the culture. So you got to sort of rise in prominence as an economic power while not losing your culture. Like what would that look like? And so we got to see some amazing shots of the country realized um, some amazing action shots, which was um, just some great stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to be vague, because I don't like want to give anything away, but I'll just say it involved cars and hopping on cars, you know, he's very good at that. Some badass black women like Lupita, killing it, killing it. Deny, killing it, killing it. Like, I don't watch The Walking Dead and she makes me want to watch The Walking Dead. The stuff that I saw and the way she spoke on the panel was so great, so. One thing that I think might be a spoiler, so I'm putting the spoiler alert up, is, and they'll, they set up the panel and like the guy who was clearly from Marvel to make sure nobody was running their mouth was like, nah, it's fine. And it's that like, the girl who's gonna be in, or the person who's gonna be in charge of like the technology, who, like on the, in Wakanda, is gonna be like a young black girl. So I'm like, yes, yes. Cause you know, representation, we all know is so important. Like. You can't be it if you can't see it, if you can't know what's possible, you know? So I'm just so excited to see the way this movie is gonna change the culture. Cause it's gonna be drastic to see people of color, black people, African people in positions of power as scientists, as fighters, as leaders. Like it is really gonna, I think, just transform the culture and I'm just so ready. So 
I'm trying to think if I want to give any more like specific things. Okay, I'll describe one thing I saw in the trailer in very or in the trailer in the sneak preview in very vague terms because I don't. I appreciate CBC and I don't want anything in the back of them. Like this is what happens when we show y'all stuff. But it involved the scene um, with that guy. I should probably know his name. The guy who like his whole thing is stealing metal from Wakanda. So it's a scene like in a casino type area, and um, he's clearly about to do some kind of trade where he's gonna trade the metal for some kind of goods. And Black Panther is there, like scoping the scene, about to like shut that shit down. And that's all I'm gonna say. I'm like, <laughs> I hope people don't click on this video and they're like mad disappointed because they wanted like specific plot details. But I guess the gist is that like, it looks just really, really cool. Like the way they've realized it, the way the action is designed, the set design, the production design, the the costumes, the makeup, like it's, I'm just so ready. Like I'm so ready. And part of me is wondering, I was hoping that like my expectations aren't so high that like if I see it and it's just great, not like oh, amazing, I'm not like disappointed, but I'm just, it doesn't even matter <laughs> at this point, honestly. I'm just like, I'm here for the movie. Like I'm here for what it means. I'm here for what it means, you know? I could go on and on. I hope this is a value to you, y'all. The point is just that I got to see some sneak preview, a sneak preview of the movie. It looks amazing. It's going to change the culture. I'm seeing it opening weekend multiple times. My whole body is ready. Ryan Coogler, you're everything. Everyone that staff is, oh, no, staff, everyone in the cast is everything. Like, thank you, Marvel, for finally making a movie that's just about the black folks. You know, was long overdue. Um... It kind of feels like Obama and Hillary where we get the black folks, black man first, then we're going to get a white woman. And it's like, will we ever get a black woman? But like, that's fine. I'm not bringing that up in this video. I'm just going to appreciate what I got, <laughs> which is Black Panther. Um, so yeah. All right. That's it. That's it. I'm out of here, y'all. I hope that was enjoyable. Give me a like if you liked it. Subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.